On our 2018 FIFA World Cup countdown today, African teams take center stage. The 88-year-old tournament is set for another groundbreaking showpiece with 12 stadiums, Lushniki, Sparta Arena, Kazan, Samara, Saransk, Ekaterinburg, Sochi, Volgograd, Nizhny Novgorod, Kreftovsky, Rostov and Kaliningrad. Five African countries will be part of the spectacle with one aim, break the quarterfinal huddle and possibly win the World Cup. 13 African countries have participated in the FIFA World Cup since it began in 1930 with Egypt, the first in 1934. Other African countries include Cameroon with seven previous finals, Nigeria has six appearances, Morocco are returning after 20 years for a fifth appearance, while despite qualifying as the first representative from the continent in 1934, Egypt are appearing for a third final. Congo Zahir, Angola and Togo have all qualified once for the Mundial. Of the 13 African countries to have qualified, only three have reached the quarter-final. Cameroon at Italy 90 with Thomas Nkono in goal and the legendary Roger Miller were on the cusp of history. The indomitable Lions agonizingly lost to an England squad which paraded Paul Gascoigne, John Bands, Gary Lineker, Stuart Pearce and legendary goalkeeper Peter Shilton 2 goals to 3 after extra time to end Africa's hopes. Four years later in USA 1994, Super Eagles of Nigeria were within two minutes of a last eight appearance playing Italy in the round of 16. Roberto Baggio equalized in the 88th minute to force an extra time from where the Italians scored a penalty in the 102nd minute to end the hopes of Africa. Senegal, coached by Bruno Metsu, hit the 2002 FIFA World Cup in South Korea, Japan like a house on fire. The Teranga Lions blew aside defending champions France by a lone goal in the opening match before going ahead to reach the quarter-final. The West African country held on through duration time against Turkey but were undone by a 90-minute golden goal scored by Ilham Manziz. The golden goal rule, which ends a match whenever it is scored during extra time, has since been abolished since 2004. Still fresh in the memories of Africans and more painful in the hearts of Ghanaians, the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa, the continent was hosting the tournament for the very first time and Ghana came close to reaching the semi-final. The Black Stars remained Africa's shining light, finishing second in Group D behind Germany. They knocked out the United States in the round of 16. However, Lightning struck again for the second time since 1986 with yet another hand of God in the match between Ghana and Uruguay. The Ego Fallen cancelled Suleiman Tari's first half goal. Fallen, a crucial moment in the match for Uruguay! Goal Fallen! Clinically struck and that's what makes it... Luis Suarez blatantly blocked a goal-bound header as Samoa Jan missed the spot kick which could have sent Ghana and Africa through to its first ever semi-final of the FIFA World Cup as Uruguay progressed 4-2 on penalties after extra time. Asamwa Gian to send Ghana into the semi-finals of the World Cup and he hits the bar! Egypt, Senegal, Morocco, Tunisia and Nigeria are on the rise yet again with the 2018 FIFA World Cup set to kick off on June the 14th in Moscow. That's how we wrap up our countdown today. I'm Ayodeji. Makinde, I'll see you soon.